Hi, explorers. Have you ever wondered how Canada shares its amazing resources with the world? Today, we're learning about exports and why they're super important for our country and our communities. An export is something we make or grow in Canada and then sell to other countries. It could be food, cars, oil, or even diamonds. Exports help our economy by bringing in money, creating jobs, and helping communities grow. They also help us build friendships with other countries around the world. Let's travel across Canada and discover what each province and territory exports and how these exports help the people who live there. First up, we have the Northwest Territories. The Northwest Territories export diamonds and oil. The Northwest Territories produces nearly 90% of all diamonds mined in Canada making it one of the top diamond producing regions of the world. In fact, Canada ranks third globally in diamond production by volume, and the Northwest Territories plays a major role in that success. Beautiful diamonds from this region are sent to countries like Belgium, India, and Israel, where they're turned into jewelry and tools. Next is Yukon. Yukon may be one of Canada's smallest territories, but it's rich in valuable minerals that are shipped around the world. In 2024, Yukon exported about $150 million worth of goods, making it the 12th largest exporter among Canada's provinces and territories. Yukon is known for its gold. Mining is a major industry here, and gold is one of its top exports. While British Columbia leads Canada's copper production, Yukon has several active and developing copper mines. Gold and copper and other minerals and ore are shipped to places like Switzerland, the United States, and the United Arab Emirates. These exports help support Yukon's economy, especially in the mining and manufacturing sectors. Even though Yukon exports less than most other provinces, its natural resources are in high demand around the world. Nunavut is Canada's northernmost territory, and while it may be remote, it plays a big role in the country's mining exports. In 2024, Nunavut exported over $2.28 billion worth of goods, making it the 11th largest exporter among Canada's provinces and territories. The territory's top export is gold, which brought in about $1.58 billion. Nunavut also exports large amounts of iron ore, along with smaller exports like medical instruments, aircraft parts, and even sculptures. Most of Nunavut's gold is shipped to Switzerland, which bought nearly all of the territory's gold exports in 2024. Other countries that import Nunavut's goods include Mexico, France, the United States, and India. Although Nunavut's exports are mostly focused on mining, the territory is also known for its unique Inuit art, which is sold around the world and includes carvings and sculptures made from stone and bone. With its rich natural resources and growing global connections, Nunavut is an important part of Canada's export story, even from the Arctic. Prince Edward Island may be Canada's smallest province, but it has a big impact when it comes to exports. In 2024, Prince Edward Island reached a record high with over $2.6 billion in international exports. The province is especially famous for its frozen food products, seafood, and aerospace parts. PEI's top export is frozen potatoes, worth more than $714 million in 2024. These tasty fries and potato products are shipped to countries like the United States, Germany, and China. The province is also a major exporter of lobster, with frozen lobster exports valued at $2.21 million, and fresh or preserved lobster adding another $70 million. Other seafood exports include oysters, mussels, and crabs. But Prince Edward Island doesn't stop at food. It also exports parts for turbojets and propellers, diagnostic lab kits, and even veterinary vaccines. These high-tech and health-related products show how diverse PEI's economy has become. With its mix of agriculture, seafood, and advanced manufacturing, Prince Edward Island is a small province making a big difference in global trade. Manitoba is a prairie province known for its rich farmland and strong agricultural exports. 
In the first quarter of 2025, Manitoba exported over $5.3 billion worth of goods to countries around the world. Some of its top exports include wheat, pork, canola seeds, and frozen potatoes and vegetables. Manitoba also exports public transport vehicles, which saw a big increase of 74%, reaching $234 million, mostly due to demand from the United States. Manitoba's biggest trading partner is the United States, which buys more than 70% of its exports. Other countries that import Manitoba's goods include Japan, China, Mexico, Bangladesh, and the Netherlands. In fact, exports to Japan rose by nearly 19%, and exports to Vietnam increased by over 550%. With its strong farming and manufacturing industries, Manitoba plays an important role in feeding and supplying the world. Nova Scotia is a coastal province with strong ties to the sea, and that's clear in what it exports. In 2024, Nova Scotia exported over $6.68 billion worth of goods, making it the ninth largest exporter among Canada's provinces. Its top export is crustaceans like lobster and crab. Other major exports include rubber tires, mollusks and scallops and clams, uncoated paper, and fresh fish. Countries that import Nova Scotia's products include the USA, China, France, South Korea, and Germany. Nova Scotia's seafood is especially popular in Europe and Asia, where its high-quality lobster and scallops are considered a delicacy. With its mix of natural resources and growing industries like tire manufacturing and paper production, Nova Scotia plays an important role in Canada's trade with the world. Newfoundland and Labrador is a province rich in natural resources, and its economy depends heavily on what it sends to other countries. In 2024, the province exported over $13.4 billion worth of goods, making it the eighth largest exporter in Canada. Its top export is crude petroleum, which brought in about $7.42 billion. The province also exports large amounts of iron ore, crustaceans like crab and shrimp, raw nickel, and refined petroleum. Newfoundland and Labrador's biggest trading partner is the United States. Other countries that import from the province include the Netherlands, China, Germany, and Spain. With its strong industries in oil, mining, and seafood, Newfoundland and Labrador play a key role in Canada's trade with the world. Its seafood, especially crab and shrimp, is known for its high quality and is enjoyed by people across the globe. New Brunswick is a coastal province with a strong economy built on natural resources and manufacturing. In 2024, it exported over $17.4 billion worth of goods, making it the seventh largest exporter in Canada. The province's top export is refined petroleum. This is thanks in large part to the Irving Oil Refinery in St. John, the largest oil refinery in Canada. Seafood is another major export, especially crustaceans like lobster and crab. New Brunswick also exports petroleum coke, sawn wood, and frozen vegetables. These products are shipped around the world. With its mix of energy, seafood, forestry, and agriculture, New Brunswick plays a vital role in Canada's trade network and helps supply essential goods to people across the globe. Next stop, Saskatchewan. This province is a farming superstar. Saskatchewan is one of Canada's top agricultural powerhouses and a global leader in food exports. In 2024, the province exported over $45.4 billion worth of goods, making it the fifth largest exporter in Canada. Saskatchewan is the world's number one exporter of several important crops, including dry peas, lentils, durum wheat, canola oil, canola meal, mustard seed, canary seed, and oats. In fact, it produced 87% of Canada's lentils, 85% of its chickpeas, and 76% of its durum wheat. The province's top export destinations include the United States, China, and India with other major buyers like Japan, Mexico, and Algeria. 
Saskatchewan also plays a key role in the global food supply, exporting 37% of the world's lentils, 36% of the world's durum wheat, and 21% of the world's canola oil. These exports help feed millions of people and support farmers and communities across the province. British Columbia, located on Canada's west coast, is known for its forests, mountains, and oceans, and its exports reflect that natural wealth. In 2024, BC exported over $55.8 billion worth of goods, making it the fourth largest exporter in Canada. Its top export was coal, followed by copper ores and concentrates, chemical wood pulp, natural gas, and crude petroleum. BC also exports lumber, liquefied propane, aluminum, electrical energy, and even computer parts. BC's biggest customer is the United States. Other major trading partners include China, Japan, South Korea, India, and Australia. These countries rely on BC for energy, minerals, and forest products. Some of the fastest growing exports from BC include computer boards and panels, which increased by nearly 43% from the previous year. With, with its rich natural resources and growing technology sector, British Columbia plays a key role in connecting Canada to the global economy. Quebec is a high-tech and resource-rich province that exports a wide variety of products to the world. In 2024, Quebec exported over $124 billion worth of goods, making it the third largest exporter in Canada. One of its most famous exports is aircraft, with large planes alone bringing in $8.2 billion. Quebec is also a major producer of aluminum, iron ore, gold and copper, which are used in everything from electronics to construction. Other top exports include turbojets, diesel trucks and lumber. Next up is Alberta, where the ground is full of energy. Alberta is often called the energy province, and for good reason. In 2024, Alberta exported over $183 billion worth of goods, making it Canada's second largest exporter after Ontario. The province's biggest export by far is crude petroleum oil, which made up nearly 68% of Alberta's total exports, worth about $124.2 billion. Alberta also exports natural gas, refined petroleum, and liquefied propane, all of which are used to power homes, vehicles, and factories around the world. But Alberta doesn't just export energy. It's also a major exporter of beef, wheat, canola, and lumber. In 2024, boneless beef cuts brought in $2.48 billion, and wheat added another $2.4 billion. These products are shipped to countries like the United States, China, Japan, Mexico, and India. You guessed it! Ontario is Canada's number one exporting province, sending out over $306.8 billion worth of goods in 2024. That's about 39% of all Canadian exports. One of Ontario's most famous exports is gold, with over $33 billion worth of unwrought gold shipped around the world. Ontario is also a major car producer. It exported nearly $19 billion in mid-sized cars, plus billions more in auto parts, trucks, and even electric vehicles. Another top export includes medicine, baked goods like cookies and pastries, and natural uranium. Most of Ontario's exports go to the United States, which buys nearly 80% of everything Ontario sells abroad. Other important trade partners include the United Kingdom, Mexico, China, Switzerland, and Germany. As we've seen, Canada's exports help our economy and connect us to the world, but they also have important effects on our environment and Indigenous communities. Industries like oil, mining, and logging can pollute water, harm wildlife, and change the land. That's why many provinces are working to reduce these impacts through cleaner technologies and conservation efforts. Indigenous communities across Canada are playing a key role in protecting nature, using traditional knowledge to care for the land and water, and leading sustainable practices in farming, fishing, and forestry. Canada's exports are an important part of the global economy. From cars to cod, 
wheat to wood, and even diamonds, Canada is continuously growing and expanding our trade. These products help our communities grow and connect us to people around the world. So next time you see a car, eat a potato, or wear a gold necklace, remember, it might just be Canadian.